This video is brought to you by Train Signal, your home for IT training products. Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching the Getting Started with Google Apps mini series. In this video, we're going to take an overview of Google Apps. We're going to take a look at a scenario in which an entrepreneur is going to use Google Apps to help start building the building blocks of collaboration for his business. We're going to take a look at what's available with Google Apps. We're going to talk about what's in the box, even though there really isn't a box per se. Uh, well, I'm going to take you on a short tour of what is available in terms of Google Apps right now. And then we're also going to talk about what it is that you need in order to get started. So let's go ahead and move right along. To begin with, let's talk about a new little company called SASTrainingOnline.com. Uh, Bub is an entrepreneurial bootstrapper, and he needs to set up some email calendars and a way to share some stuff because he, throughout news groups and emails, he's recruited six training and software experts all over the United States, and they're going to start a company that's going to revolutionize how people learn to use software as a service options available on the web to collaborate, communicate, and just get stuff done. But the problem is, is that Bubba doesn't have any money and so enter in Google Apps. Google Apps allows us to really have everything all in one place. All what we really need are computers that have a connection to the internet and from there Google Apps provides all of the necessary services that Bub is going to be needing including things like you know the ability to host web pages, text and voice chat. I mean there's so many great things and the nice thing about the fact is that Bubba's associates already have computers and internet access because, well, that's how they met. And hey, tax deductions are already right off the bat. He can actually use Google Apps to provide a lot of the basic elements that he needs to do business in the 21st century. So the nice thing about it is that you know, even though that there's no box, Google Apps is a hosted service. All of the hardware and the upkeep, it's all on their end. All we have to do is log in and start using the services. And there's some great stuff in here. And a lot of you are already familiar with Gmail, Google Talk, Google, and I may not be so, so familiar with Google Calendar, but even some other great things like a customized start page, documents and spreadsheets, page creator, um, even a control panel. That's really super easy to use. Even though Bubba may not be a computer guru, if he can point and click, he can manage this thing. So let me go ahead and take you on a short little tour of Google Apps real quick. We're starting here at the control panel. And the control panel has basically everything that we need in order to get started. Uh, a place to manage our start page, chat, web pages, email, calendar. It gives us the ability to, to manage all of our users, uh, upload a lot of users at once, manage all of the domain settings, advanced tools, and all. there's a nice little set of shortcuts over here. Let's take a look at the web page hosting. Uh, Google Apps actually has a web page option that allows us to host static HTML pages with a couple of Google widgets in the mix. Now, if we want to do a lot of dynamic content, we're kind of lacking in that area, but who knows what Google will offer in the future. But for a static web presence, it's just fine. Um, almost everyone is familiar with uh, Google or Gmail. And the nice thing about Google Apps is that it allows us to brand our own uh, mail system. And that's pretty exciting, I think, for a lot of small-time folks, you know, even for nonprofits and educational uh, outfits, schools, or maybe even classrooms, will be able to place their own logo on all of their Gmail presence. As well as a calendar, the capacity to share calendars uh, is also present, uh, keeping track of where everyone is at, when everyone is at, keeping track of deadlines. Uh, and here's a really cool thing, uh, the ability to create and manage documents online, even to the point where we can actually create spreadsheets even. But let's say that we want to create really quickly a PDF file. All we have to do is create a brand new document. And if we'd like to save it down as a PDF, we go to the little file menu here and we select Save as PDF or Save as HTML or RTF or Word or OpenOffice. That's a pretty exciting feature if you ask me. I just think that's an amazing element and also the capability to share documents amongst the people inside of your organization and the ability to control who can see that and who cannot. Let's take a quick look at the Start page. The Start page allows us to 
uh, determine what people see when they first log in to our Google Apps system. Now in this instance I have customized the start page with the logo. Of course we have the standard Google toolbar up here but then down here we have the, G the uh, Bubba's Gmail account and we see that Bubba has an inbox we can show and hide the preview and a shortcut to compose new mail. We have the Gmail calendar or the Google calendar down here as well as a to-do list item and we can uh, create a quick easy to-do list item and then when we're done we can actually delete it. Google Talk, the ability to actually jump into a text chat session right from the start page is great. Now there's other little widgets and whiz bangs that you can add into the start page. Over here I have the start, uh, the date and time as well as the Google Docs and Spreadsheets item. So everything that Bubba's users are going to absolutely need is right here on the start page as soon as they log in. And we've also talked about the ability to have a page creator, and here's where what that looks like, at least at the initial outset. I have another video uh, coming up for you that will actually take you into this in more detail. But the capability to quickly and easily go in and add and edit web pages is just really amazing. And it, and it can come, all of this stuff can actually come with no cost. Let's take a look at the additions for Google Apps. We start off with a standard edition and the standard edition is well free and that's pretty astounding. Uh, it comes with all of the primary applications you know nothing uh, is really left out in terms of the application side. Uh, there is a slight decrease on the email storage only two gigabytes. Oh gee I don't know how we'll ever get by with two gigs. That's you know just you know that's just really pretty amazing in terms of the amount of space. Um, now there, you will end up with ads, just so you know, on the standard edition. Relevant text side, text-based ads right alongside the email are going to be there. You can't get away from those in the free edition, but they're not obtrusive. So I think most folks are more than willing to handle that for this amazing set of free services. Now the premier edition, on the other hand, if you got a few dollars to spend, and you're tired of managing, maybe you're a small to medium business and you're tired of managing your own email servers and such, you can actually uh, pay Google $50 per user account per year um, and get just a little bit more, 10 gigabytes of space and a few other items that a lot of folks, especially beginning entrepreneurs or really small businesses, they're not going to need. Um, but things like you know the APIs to integrate into other infrastructure elements, email migration tools, uh, telephone su telephone support, etc. So you're getting a few extras for the dollars, as well as extra space and 10 gigabytes. I can't imagine uh, is uh, I can't imagine anyone's going to run out of space that, uh, with that amount of uh, just crazy, crazy storage. So here's the thing, though. You have to have this one requirement, and that is a domain name. If you don't have a domain name, you can't really use Google Apps. Now, the nice thing about it is that you know, if you have a domain name, it's very easy to alter the DNS records for your domain registrar so that uh, your website and your email is redirected to Google Apps. And there's actually two videos coming up that will show you exactly how to do this. Now, if you don't have a domain name, that's even easier because you can sign up for one when you register for Google Apps for $10 a year. That's it. And there's no configuration necessary. Google Apps, if you sign up through them, will be automatically configured for you at the time of sign up. Now let's take a look at a couple of advantages here. Once again, there's no management of server hardware. There's no uh, initial outlay of cost for that. Everything is hosted on Google servers, including static web pages. Bubba can stop paying 10 bucks a month for his web host. The standard edition is free, so this is fantastic for small to medium startups when they're uh, trying to make their first buck. The administration panel is so easy. Anybody who takes five or ten minutes can, to look at it can figure it out. And here's the even nicer thing. Anywhere where Bubba has web access, he can do business. So this thing is very portable. They even have a mobile option that you can actually use to see and view your email on your cell phone if your cell phone supports it. So friends, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for spending the time with me. The next video coming up is the sign-up process.
This video is brought to you by TrainSignal, network admin's number one choice for professional IT training, where you'll find videos on Microsoft, Cisco, Linux, CompTIA, and more. Come visit us today at www.trainsignal.com.